Booster, but it was interesting. As soon as we heard from Pfizer on that late in the day yesterday, we heard from the CDC and from the FDA, and they basically said not so fast. We'll put a joint statement up from those two agencies where they said Americans who have been fully vaccinated do not need a booster shot at this time. FDA, CDC, and NIH, which is the National Institutes of Health, are engaged in a science based, rigorous process to consider whether or when. A booster might be necessary. And I will say that experts we've been speaking to seem to have similar reservations. Take a listen. I would say that we're not at the position where we can say that a booster is necessary for the general public. It's, it's something that it's important to study. It's important to have an FDA pathway for a booster. But to me, the threshold for needing a booster would be fully vaccinated individuals getting breakthrough infections that land them in the hospital at a high degree. That's just not happening. Now, on that particular topic, nothing specifically yet to add from the White House, but there has been an attempt to clarify those comments she played from the health secretary on this idea that it's the government's business to know who's been vaccinated. But Sarah, after saying that, tweeted this. Some comments I made today are being taken wildly out of context. To be clear, government has no database tracking who is vaccinated. We're encouraging people to step up to protect themselves and others by getting vaccinated. It's the best way to save lives and end this pandemic. And I had a conversation, actually, with the, the press secretary, uh, Jen Psaki, about this, just to kind of get an idea of exactly what they are doing, what's really going on. And she says what it is, is that you have local community groups some church groups, some who are funded uh, by the government, at least in part, who've been going out. They have programs where they go door to door. They encourage people to get vaccinated and that kind of thing. But she says there's no direct government employees involved in that, and there's certainly no database being kept by the government either. Ashley.